Uh, I just wanted to take a look at this article by the friendly atheist Hemant Mehta. And I actually know Hemant Mehta. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, he knows a lot of people in my circles, too. He knows genetically modified skeptic and godless engineer and just a bunch of people. He's a really, really nice guy. So he runs this blog called Pathios, or on Pathios, I'm sorry. I think that's how you say it, Pathios or Pathios. Anyways, he runs a blog on there. Uh, there are some other people who run blogs on there too. Godless Mom, Aaron Ra runs one on Pathios. And he actually, Hemant Mehta writes some really interesting articles on here. This one is called New Alabama Law Allows Christian Church to Create Its Own Police Force. So I just wanted to give this a read real quick. An Alabama church will now get to have its own police force a perk typically reserved for places like public universities. It's actually a demand that was made two years ago when Briarwood Presbyterian Church in Vestavia Hills wanted permission from state legislators to operate their own cops. So much for the power of prayer. Yeah, that's a good point. The bill passed through the state Senate but died in the state house. This time, however, with Republican Governor Kay Ivey at the helm, an identical bill sailed through the legislature and got Ivy's signature without a problem. HB 309 was signed into law on Wednesday. It will allow Briarwood Presbyterian Church, Briarwood Christian School, and Madison Academy, a private Christian K-12 school, to establish their own police forces. The whole premise, though, raises so many questions. Why does a church need its own cops? How many horrible things are happening there? Does the state have authority over this police force, especially if something goes wrong? If they do, would they be getting entangled in a church matter? If the police act unlawfully, despite the required training, who has the power to discipline them? Can any religious institution demand its own police force? One lawyer certainly thinks so. Do the police have to sign statements of faith pledging their agreement with the church's beliefs? Can citizens challenge what these cops do? Can they take them to court? Why can't the church, like every other organization, just ask for and rent protection when needed? How does this impact how pastors handle sexual assault allegations? Those are some interesting questions, especially that last one. That's super interesting. How does this impact how pastors handle sexual assault allegations? There is just bias, period. There's bias in those cops just from the outset because they're part of the church. I found uh, a couple of these other questions particularly interesting, too. Um, if the police act unlawfully despite the required training, who has the power to discipline them? Because I know that there's a university near me that has their own police force, too. Uh, and, of course, the university having one, that's a little bit different than a church having one because they have a criminal justice uh, program that you can go through. And a lot of these cops work with the students to teach them a lot of this stuff. I think that the police chief of the university is a professor there and things like that. So it's it's well structured, it's well established, and they work with the city government, uh, the city police force, to enforce laws and, and things like that. But what authority does a church police force report to? That's a conundrum. So the article goes on to say, policing is problematic enough as it is. Just wait until the church police begin making headlines. And Briarwood has a long racist history that doesn't inspire optimism. I wonder if they can make their own laws or, or their own rules, or if the church police force has to just enforce the the laws that exist in the county a lawsuit may already be in the works according to the aclu of alabama randall marshall the executive director of the aclu of alabama says the law could allow the church to cover up criminal activity that occurs on its campuses he expects the law to be challenged in the courts for unconstitutionally granting government power to a religious institution that is fascinating that is a really good point you know this would never get a green light from Alabama politicians if it were a large mosque asking for the same privilege. But remember, in this country, Christians are always allowed to bend the rules in their favor. The new law goes into effect this fall, unless a judge puts a stop to it. I actually found another article on the same thing. So that one was from Hemant Mehta. This one is from NPR. Let me just give this one a, a, a quick glance through. It says... Alabama Governor Kay Ivey signed into law Wednesday a measure granting the Briarwood Presbyterian Church 
the right to set up its own law enforcement agency to cover its sanctuary, seminary, and sprawling school campuses, despite criticism that the measure was unconstitutional. A similar measure, first proposed four years ago, was dropped in 2017 after opponents argued that it grants government power to a religious institution in violation of the Establishment Clause. Church officials say they need their own police force to protect its 4,100 members, 2,000 students, and two campuses in neighboring Jefferson and Shelby counties, especially in light of armed attacks on schools and churches. Critics say the megachurch already has private security, and under the new law, it would gain state authority that could be abused if officers are answerable only to church officials. Randall Marshall, the executive director of the ACLU of Alabama, told the Associated Press he expects the law, which goes into effect in the fall, will be challenged in the courts. Other critics say the church, which is a member of the conservative Presbyterian Church in a America denomination, which is, um, I think, PCA, uh, which is a member of the conservative Presbyterian Church in America denomination, has a history of racism and homophobia. Church officials said current Alabama state law allows certain educational institutions to appoint and employ one or more suitable persons to act as police officers to keep off intruders and prevent trespass upon the institution property, according to a statement made to WBRC in Birmingham. We are grateful to the governor and our elected officials for approving our request to be added to the existing Alabama law, the statement concluded. So they already have private security that they they deal with every day. What they are trying to get here is not just people who can protect them. They already have that. What they're looking for is it's a legal police force that is under church control. That's the difference here. They don't just want protection. They want legal control of a police force. That's a little concerning to me. I would absolutely in no circumstances be okay with that. That is disturbing.